cannot believe I'm making this video right now. I am all moved in to my new apartment in Chicago. For the past year, I've lived in dorm style apartments with three strangers and no bookshelves. I've just put all my books like stacked on my desk and um, they add up. So this year it's no dorm, no RA, no sharing a room with anyone, just me and Maddie. <laughs> and it's just us in this living room. And I was like, I am bringing a full bookshelf into this apartment. It's no wall of long bookshelves like I have back at home, but it is such an improvement. I have five levels to fill up and it's gonna happen quickly. And we're gonna do a full apartment tour soon, but just like, look at this corner. I have my guitar and there's the couch and a pride flag and I'm just, I'm so happy. My room is a mess, the kitchen is a mess right now, but all I can focus on is the bookshelf. So I'm bringing you on this journey. There's also a window right here, which will make for really nice natural light in videos, but I wasn't gonna wait until tomorrow to do it and it's dark now. The journey begins on the fourth shelf because it happens to be the biggest one, so I know exactly what I'm gonna put on it. I brought all of the hardcovers. I really wanted to dedicate a whole shelf to the Harry Potter books and some decorations, so I brought two snow globes and a stitch. And I brought Cursed Child, but didn't bring like Beetle the Bard or Fantastic Beasts, the sacrifices we make. That was literally my only plan. So the rest of it, I'm gonna play it by ear and then I'll let you know how it went. I think I did it. Obviously I have more books in boxes here, but I'm really happy with what I was able to get on the shelf and there's like a little bit of wiggle room for what I'm about to probably buy in the next month. On the top shelf, I started with some of the classic bound fancy editions that I have and sort of faded into some other classics and then nonfiction. I put The Hunger Games up there because it didn't feel right anywhere else and because it will soon be a classic. Second shelf, I started with my adult fiction, Jody Pico's, and it slowly fades into like John Green, David Levithan, and other like classic contemporaries, and also just ones that I really love. And some arcs are there, which will soon, in the next couple of months, be replaced by the real books, which is really exciting. Shelf three is more contemporary, fading into sci-fi, fantasy. It was really difficult to decide which ones to bring. It's all basically a combination of the greatest hits and my TBR, but mostly the TBR. I couldn't bring all of Percy Jackson, so I just brought the first two Trials of Apollo because I still have to read them. Fourth shelf is Harry Potter, which I adjusted a little bit. I added the illustrated editions, and then I moved one snow globe to the top of the shelf, along with the page to screen and then the bottom shelf, I was surprised that I brought Scott Pilgrim, but I brought the whole series and was just for some reason itching to have it and read it here. And then on the bottom shelf, I included a bunch of plays that I have, a couple more nonfiction, and then just some other books that I wanted to have on my shelf but didn't fit uh, higher up. And then to fill in the space that will soon be used for other books. I put some of my DVDs up there, but those will, of course, be the first to go. I'm so happy to have a new shelf in an apartment that's not my house, that is my own. We'll see what happens with it soon. I mean, it's going to change and fluctuate, but there's nothing like setting up a new bookshelf for the first time. So thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Have a good one. I'll see you guys really soon, and goodbye.